just when you thought that a $130 million price tag for a smart home equivalent to something tech billionaires like Bill Gates or Elon Musk would live in was too far out of reach to be a goal, let alone owning a three-bedroom house while struggling to pay the mortgage and strata fees or rent on your condo apartment. Well, robotic engineers and the Ori Living Company have found yet another way to use automation to maximize our living spaces with robot automated furniture that would allow the transformation of one bedroom residential flats into multi-purpose spaces. The furniture is adjustable like a transformer, automated and adaptable, which allows a change of space at the click of a button. A bedroom can be converted into an office space, living room, or dining room at a click of a button, or even a simple voice command from your smartphone. Who needs a nine-figure smart home when you can have a smart flat? Now, all that is really missing to fully automate the apartment suite would be a humanoid robot to cook dinner and take out the trash. Pushing for the advancement of human-like robots with artificial intelligent brains to walk among us, of course, like some sort of dramatized sci-fi, which, living in the present day, isn't really far off from reality. Visiting OriLiving.com and doing more research on their robot automated furniture, I should mention this video isn't sponsored. I'm just a fan of everything automated, technology, and robotics. And visiting the website, it turns out you can get in touch with the development sales team at Ori and installation could cost anywhere between 5 and 10,000 US dollars. Though, currently, the company sells its devices only to apartment developers who then rent out the furnished apartments. The company says the spaces can be as little as 350 square feet, so they can cost renters less per month without sacrificing function. Currently, on OriLiving.com, there are about 45 apartment rentals across the United States, ranging from $1,400 a month up to $6,000 depending on what neighborhood and state each apartment location has. Ori Living says they improve developer economics to provide apartments that feel, live, and rent larger. Brain time. Congratulations, you made it this far in the video. What would you do if I told you you could have 25 years of good luck and all you'd have to do is like this video and also subscribe if you haven't already. Well, what are you waiting for? Smash that like button and you'll get 25 years of good luck. And now, back to the video. As technology continues to evolve and take place in almost every part of our lives, once upon a time, in fact, most often we would say, spending the day at the gym was well needed to detach from our smartphones, smart devices, and technology inevitably taken over our lives. However, interestingly now in the present day, Seems like spending the day at the gym or in training is just another part of our lives technology wants to take part in as well. So will humanoid robots be now replacing personal trainers in the gym as well? Well, soon technology may be able to automate repetitive tasks such as instruction, queuing, and rep counting. In the future, Technology may play a larger role in assessing and designing fitness training programs. As personal trainers can be really busy, 
So sometimes trying to fit your availability to share theirs isn't easy, especially if you are someone who likes spontaneous gym sessions while you are in the mood to work out. You might find it frustrating that your trainer isn't always available when you want. Well, that's where humanoid robots come in. Though most researchers say fitness trainers will still be responsible for overseeing the overall training experience and making important decisions. However, programming a autonomous human-like robot like Pepper, for instance, the semi-humanoid robot manufactured by Japanese SoftBank Robotics, which actually can be programmed to count reps as well as read your emotions during a workout. Artificial intelligence is something that will always play a big role in future autonomous robots and fitness robots, as well as the humanoid human-like appearances. For added motivation, of course. And of course, no one really does get fit or in shape without that added motivation. A fitness trainer with the perfect physique to keep you motivated? Well, slap some human-like skin and some giant boobs on a human-like robot and you got yourself a fitness trainer and a workout. Sad to say, however, this is just another job sector robots will be replacing humans, stealing our jobs unfortunately. But for the trainee and the person wanting to get in shape, worrying about how long you should keep a personal trainer around would no longer even need to be a thought. Because of course, the answer to that question always depends on your commitment level and ultimate goals. Generally, it's recommended to work with a personal trainer for up to 6 to 12 weeks. During this time, it is almost impossible not to build a relationship with your fitness trainer. And letting them go following your goals sometimes can be very difficult. Well, at least with a robot, you will have the independence to stay fully focused. Right. You should be nice and warm now. Think about getting ready to start running. In 3, 2, 1, go! So in case you guys didn't know, every five years the world hosts a World Expo. And it just so happens the next one happens to be in the year 2025, which also happens to be held in Osaka, Japan. The same very hometown as probably one of the most famous female human-like robots, which is Erica, and her creator, Professor the mad scientist, Dr. Hiroshi Ishiguro. And I'm super excited to share this with you guys because I'm thinking I'm probably going to have to visit Japan in 2025. So the World Expo is an event that usually takes place for six months out of the whole year. In 2020, it was held in Dubai. In 2030, it's scheduled to be in Busan, South Korea. But in 2025, the expo is going to be in Osaka, Japan. Anyways, check out some of the footage that I found about 2025. Anyways, check this you out. met me on the street. Would I startle you? Would you greet me just like any other person? The relationship between robotics and the human body is closer than you might think. In the not so distant future, even robots like me might be a part of everyday life. When I was seven years old, I visited Expo 70 Osaka. Many of the technologies on display there seem improbable, but today, nearly 50 years later, they are commonplace. My name is Hiroshi Ishiguro. I'm a roboticist. At my pavilion at Expo 2025 Osaka Kansai Japan, 
I will explore how humanity will evolve through technology. What will the world be like in 50 years? We need only imagine. We humans, we've come a long way to get where we are today. Looking back, it's hard to believe what we have achieved. What drives us forward? What spurs us on? It's our insatiable need to learn and know, to do and grow, to twiddle and tweak and 2.0. We humans, we're never done. We've made monuments and cut through continents, mastered human flights, sent up satellites, walked in outer space, created user interface, built cities on sand, turned sea into land, and still, we're not done. We made levitating trains and open world games, constructed super towers and grids for solar power, made houses smart, turned food into art, built self-driving cars and taught bots to play guitars. But no, we're not done. We found cures for disease, performed symphonies, probed the ocean floors, made machines do our chores, deconstructed quarks, studied great white sharks, sequenced our genomes and even 3D printed homes. Are we done yet? Oh no, we're not done. In fact, we need to do even more than ever before. Our planet is in need of help. There are challenges we can't ignore. But remember, we are humankind. No job's too big if we set our minds. If we all embrace the spirit that there really is no limit. If we rise to this occasion and come together across nations. If we integrate